Hello everybody, Smith here, and welcome back to some more Find a Subscriber, where I have challenged my subscribers to a duel. Uh, virtually, of course, in the skies above the KFC, because I'd be no good with a rapier or a pistol. Um, it... <laughs> Do you think if they had YouTube during the 1600s, that would, that would have been a thing? Uh, I have wandered massively off topic. Uh, oh god. Um, yes, this is the eighth episode, so after today, we are two-thirds of the way through this round. So, uh, yeah, that's gone quickly. Um, anyway, yes, let's go and meet today's competitor. This is the FF215F5 by Casino Stardust, a craft which went through quite a few iterations before I was happy that it was um, overalls compliant and even then had to make some last minute adjustments. But despite my very crude attempts at uh, cosmetic surgery, it still remains a hell of a looker based on the looks of things, I guess, on the, uh, the F15 MTD. It's a twin Saturn engine craft. Uh, after last week's brief but successful flirtation with Vulcan cannons, we're back to the twin Gal 22s and it. It rounds all this off with the kind of unconventional seven Sidewinders and five Amrams. Test flight time, and this thing is absolutely beautiful to fly manually. Uh, plenty of maneuverability without tipping over into uh, instability. Maybe a little sensitive in the roll axis for manual control, but uh, well, I'd be very interested to see how the AI gets on with this one against my own fighters. So, first up to test the Aquila, I missed out that little part of its name during the introduction, whoops, will be my Red Hawk. Let's, um, let's get them into the air. The first fight starts, Adam Kerman in the lead, Aquila comes round hard, gets away, one Amram, two Amrams, three Amrams, what are they set up for here? Uh, three per target, although on this version of BD Armoury, yeah, we're already getting away more, so this is going to be... A lot of missiles, <laughs> a lot of missiles coming back the other way. Wow, look at all that. Hmm, no wonder my frame rate is not at all happy. Yes, a beautiful craft this, as I said. Many revisions needed, and I had to make some last minute adjustments myself. Uh, kind of slightly spoiling the look, but still, still beautiful. And a pain in the arse on the ground. It just, I'm not sure if it's because of the, uh, because it's lopsided with the missile low, but it just all, always rotates, um, sort of, yeah, anti-clockwise as you sort of viewing it from the top, or counterclockwise from my own. Um, but it did well at its preliminaries. Um, one or five of its fights, although did uh, did suffer a um, suffer a loss during one of those fights, so not a perfect result. But I'm still expecting big things. Into uh, into am sorry into sidewinder range now into gun range. Let's uh, let's kick in with the uh, kick in with the dogfight camp. Adam Kerman, less than two kilometers now. Line up his shot. Has the Gal 22 selected? Will he get? Uh, will he get one away? Mm, yeah. No, he won't. <laughs> Has picked up another target. Hopefully this time. Nope. Picked up another target. Hopefully. No, maybe. Possibly. No. Oh, for goodness sake. Some of these fights. I don't know what it is. Just there is a lot of target indecision with the AIs. I. Mm, I find it a lot with Minecraft. I there must be a setting I'm doing wrong, and possibly that uh, Casino Stardust is doing wrong here. But I will have to do some more research because nobody at the moment has killed anybody else. There's another Sidewinder going in there. Oh my god! Oh my god! One of the Aquilas has taken a heavy hit. Was not expecting that. Where is it? No fatal damage. Must have just been a glancing blow with the missile. Ghosty Carmen trying to uh, trying to come around hard. Will somebody kill somebody else, please? For the love of God, will somebody kill somebody else? Okay, Ghosty Carmen. No missiles left. Has a Red Hawk coming in. Just buzzing him at the moment. Stay state and true. Try to stay on target. Uh, oh God, Red Hawk coming up behind him. Chortle. Yep, here comes the gunfire. Doesn't look like the Red Hawk has. There's another explosion. One of the Red Hawks is gone. One of the Red Hawks is gone. It's three against two, and Dogfight Camp, for some reason, has just decided to stick with it. Oh, for God's sake. Let's, uh, let's actually switch to one of the Red Hawks. One of the uh, surviving Red Hawks. Iron Kerman. Yeah, taking a bit of a smattering. Pulling evasive maneuvers. It's working so far. Has the attention of two of these Aquilas. That's going to prove nasty for him. Yeah. And suddenly he finds he has a lot less aircraft than he had a second ago. Josh Kerman lining up a shot. Oh no, Tranal trying to take some evasive action from the Aquila on his tail. Gunfire coming in as well. Oh, this is not looking good. 
He's he's missing a wing. He's missing a lot more now. Brutal. Okay, so despite an early hit from a missile, I'm still not sure which one of the equalers that was uh, that was on. It they uh, they nonetheless managed to pull it back and get a uh, perfect result in that first fight. Okay, let's um let's move on. A good solid first fight against my Red Hawks, but moving on quickly before these things rotate themselves out of position, they now go up against my Spike Tails, who really have been playing a blinder so far this season. Let's uh, let's get this one going. Off we go then. Can the Aquila replicate the uh, the result it got in the first fight? As I mentioned, it's going to be a little bit more difficult against my Spike Tails. Once again, they start with just the absolute hail of missiles they they have been throwing at my craft so far this um so far this video, and uh, <laughs> it's I have no idea what's going on with all these little boxes. <laughs> is, the, is there any is there any debris? Well, now there's some debris. One of the uh, one of the spike tails has been taken out with a clean hit. Just the two remaining. Let's uh, let's switch to the dogfight cam. Yeah. Oh dear, that is bad news for the Spike Tails. Uh, they might have it in them to come back from 3-2 down. As uh, Steve Kerman launches a, uh, a pair of sidelines, a third one away at a different craft. Manages to ably dodge the missiles coming back in his direction. Mm. But uh, yeah, coming back from 3-2 uh, down is always always a tough ask. Popping up loads of flares as uh, Steve Kerman pulls hard around. Might be lining up a Craft in his sights, we have no idea. The dogfight cam is kind of doing its own thing today. Oh, that that's not good news. That is not good news for Steve Kerman. I think he still managed to retain most of his important bits. <laughs> there's, some, there's some missing though. Oh dear, Steve Kerman. I think he does have two craft on him, so that might be an opportunity for... Might have been an opportunity for Yosemite Kerman to come in and try and level things up. No. Missing, missing a fair amount of stuff now. Missing even more stuff. <laughs> was that a hand-to-hand -hand kill? <laughs> it was rammed, yes. Lost 49 parts, the equivalent only lost 5. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to count that as a kill for the Spike Tails. That was, that was damage sustained before the, uh, before the fight ended. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, yeah, let's, uh, Let's move on to our final fight. A place in the finals, at least provisionally, is almost within the grasp of the FF215, uh, especially now they are going up against my Lynxes, the, um, the whipping boys of this season. Let's get them into the air. Again, the Equalers turn to fight. Now, any victory will be good enough to see them into one of those finals positions for the time being. But we've still got four more craft to go after this, so who knows if it will be good enough in the long run. A perfect victory will see them just shy of a perfect score overall on 17 points, which might be a lot more beneficial for them in the long run. How are we doing? Again, just the hail of missiles. Um, ben Kerman breaking low and dodging before pulling up. The, uh, yeah, his wingman already turning around to get their second volley away, as, uh, as Ben Kerman is now as well. Trying to get a lock. Yeah, now switches to the uh, to the sidewinders. I'm assuming he's not firing because of some range limitation on the sidewinders within four kilometers. Surely you've got to fire at somebody now. I'll just turn on dogfight cam before I forget. There we go. Three sidewinders away at one of the lynxes. Now, yeah, these things, yeah, the lynxes, they just, everybody, well, all but one craft has been obliterating them. I think it's just because they are a pretty large target. Uh, they have a problem if they lose an engine, basically they just all just spin out. Oh, ben Kerman, can you line up a sidewinder? One of the links is gone. GT Kerman tries to line up guns. Can't do so. Cannot do so. That looked promising for a second. Yeah, they're huge targets. If they lose one of their engines, then just the way the engine cells are set up means they um they just get into a, a lethal spin. Oh my god, GT Kerman is in the last remaining links. I think we know which way this is going to go. Yeah, this this craft might need replaced. I mean, it replaced the Panther, which became the whipping boy in Season 3, so... Yeah, there it goes. 
Okay. A good performance overall from the FF215F Aquilas. Let's um, let's go to the uh, the final scores and see where that leaves us. So that was the FF215F5 Aquila showing it's not just a pretty face. And if we bring up the leaderboard, we can see that with nine kills and eight survivors, it sits just one off a perfect score on 17 points. A couple of consequences to this. Uh, first of all, we must now say goodbye to Mecha Diaz as his craft, the SMA48 Amelie, is pushed out of the finals positions. And uh, secondly, it's no longer mathematically possible to get into the finals positions while only winning two of your fights. Uh, from here on in, it's three wins or bust. A huge thank you to Casino Stardust for this craft. Uh, if you want me to fight any of your craft, I'm afraid entries for this season are now closed, although I am still doing my regular mailbag streams, so uh, feel free to send me something for that if you want to see your craft in action. Um, that will be all for today. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have and you haven't already, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, uh, following me on Twitter, getting involved with the Discord, Great KSP and BD Armory community on there and more besides. All those links in the description, as are links to the PayPal and the Patreon. If you want to help support the channel, you too can get yourself... Uh, um, your own little patron Kerbal, uh, access to the patron only Discord, you name it the end of videos, some other stuff I'm trying at the moment, that kind of thing. Uh, I will be back soon with some more Fighter Subscriber. Until then, though, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.